All praise to the Most High Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Earthly Mother, sanctifying Yahweh Shai, the Holy Son. Honor and respect to the chosen and grafted brothers and sisters. Welcome to this study. Uh, today is uh, September the 26th. 2020 and it's currently 7 56 a.m i was trying to prepare this lesson or uh, this study last night and i was quite tired and i uh, stopped in the middle and um this is the book of lamech of cain so we're going to study and link that to scripture from the bible uh, from the first stick, second sticks, and other books. Okay, so before we begin, let's go to Second Timothy, verse uh, chapter two, verse fifteen, which read that study to show thyself approve unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly divided the word of truth so we have to study to prove ourselves approved unto god and my old bible uh and it doesn't have any precept i look at it but uh you know they always take out the precept but in the new kings in the new kings new king james version and the precept it's two it's Two, second Peter 1 10 and um, it says wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure for if you do these things ye shall never fall and when I look up the word calling uh, diligence okay it come out careful and persistent work ah, come on careful and persistent work or effort okay so and in and second timothy chapter 2 verse 15 study to show thyself approve unto god a workman okay a man up doing the work of the lord that needeth not to be ashamed you should not be ashamed you got to study you got to uh, um, make videos or study at home privately rightly divided the word of truth so and, uh, and the precept that i get from the new king james version and it read wherever wherefore the writer brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure for if you do these things you shall never fall and uh, i agree with that so let us move in, in into the book of Lamech of Cain. So, um, all right. So I got uh, everything kind of prepared. And uh, let's pull up a picture of it, Lamech. Let's pull, pull up a picture Lamech of Cain. Okay. So I always use this picture. This is Cain. This is Lamech, all right? They are father and son, father and grandson, okay? Um, w when we look at the bloodline of Cain, all right? Um, the line of Cain, which Master Mahan and Genesis 4, chapter, Genesis chapter 4, verse 17, all the way to 22, the bloodline of Cain, Cain begat Enoch, Enoch begat Erad, Erad begat Mehujahel, Mehujahel begat Metuzahel or Metushahel. In the book of uh, um, in the book of um, the book of Lamech of Cain, it's not Metuzahel, it's Metushahel. And Lamech was talking to Metushahel. He was asking a lot of questions. Okay. And Lamech has two wives. Zila and Ada. And Ada gave birth to Jabal and Jubal, brothers. And Zila 
give birth to Tubal Cain and Nahama, which turned out to be Noah's wife. Okay, Noah's wife, the bloodline, he, he, uh, she came from the bloodline of Cain. Okay, uh, remember what I told you about Noah's wife? <laughs> it's a shame, but that's what it is. This is the, the doing of the Mosai. So we're going to study the bloodline of Cain and... Um, so we uh, in the book of Lamech of Cain and we're going to make some connection we'll go back and forth through these things all right let's let's start with the book but first let's make sure this thing is recording you know how that thing goes it is all right the book of Lamech of Cain oh I'm trying to read this uh the book of Lamech of Cain and Leviathan people in this book the word leviathan it can it can be described as monsters okay back then before the flood they refer to any huge monster as a leviathan okay a leviathan in that sense doesn't mean the real um typical leviathan that the bible is talking about that the leviathan that god created because sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't okay so you have to kind of like chew the meat and spit out the bone like the beloved brother big judah said sometimes when they speak in this book you will understand they are talking about monsters and sometimes you will understand they are talking about the real leviathan remember this book is from lamech of cain there's two lamech there's this lamech of cain which came from the bloodline of um of uh, Cain, okay. As you can see, Cain was the father of Enoch, the first Enoch, okay. This Enoch begat Erad, and Erad begat uh, Mehujahel, and Mehujahel become begat Metuzahel. In the book of Enoch, uh, in the book of Lamech of Cain, it's Metushahel, okay. Metushahel begot, uh, begat Lamech. Okay, so that's Lamech, Lamech of Cain. But now, when you go to um, uh, the bloodline of, uh, I think I got it right here, the bloodline of Adam, uh, the blood of, b bloodline of Seth, Seth begat Enos. Okay, Enos begat Cainan. Okay, I don't like to say Canaan because Canaan was the son of uh, Ham from Noah, so I just like to pronounce it Cainan, okay? Enos begat Cainan, Cainan begat Mahalalel, Mahalalel, Mahalalel become, begat Jared, and Jared begat Enoch. That's the Enoch from Seth, okay? They are very similar, uh, uh, brothers and sisters, okay? They are very, very similar. So you got to be very careful when they talking about Enoch, the first city named Enoch. So that was not our Enoch. That was not the Enoch, the righteous, okay? This is the Enoch, Enoch, the righteous, self-descendant. It came from the line of Jared, Mahalalel, Cainan, Enos, Seth, and Adam, okay? Um, now, Enoch begat Methuselah. Okay, Methuselah was known as the oldest living man in the Bible. Uh, uh, he lived, he lived, he lived the 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 most, the oldest. But in fact, Enoch still alive. <laughs> Enoch is thousands of years old. He's still alive. He's still in heaven. And when Yahusha come back, old man Enoch gonna be there with him. Okay, so now Methuselah begat Lamech so this is the Lamech of Seth okay and this Lamech came from Noah this is very confusing a lot of people think that when when they see the first Lamech of Cain okay that Lamech that came from Methuselah this Lamech from Methuselah so it's very uh very very confusing uh, the Lamech of Methuselah and Lamech of Methuselah that's one in the book of uh, Lamech of Cain, it says Metushahel. 
okay it's pretty much it's very very similar people you gotta be very careful so so you won't make the mistake and then thinking that noah came from the bloodline of um cain no he came from the bloodline of seth methuselah lamech noah married naya Na, oops nahama nahama was the bloodline of cain a very white woman okay we'll get to that later and noah and then the book of uh, um the priest of mahan and the book of uh, uh enoch they tried to make noah white but when you read it you take that you take the definition of 18 in the 1800 you know damn well that noah didn't have the mark of cain the curse of cain the mark of the uh, 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 of, of of the priesthood of mahan noah was as black as it can get noah was the darkest mofo on the planet okay he did not have the mark of cain his wife had it his wife was not quiet as the fathers his wife was the uh, the daughter of um this dude right here uh, lamech lamech of cain so his wife lamech of cain mary zila and zila zila was a black woman so to speak okay so this pale dude marry a black woman and when they give birth to tubal cain and nahama both and tubal cain came out just like him but nahama came out white a little color okay nahama she had um she had a little color well so a little melanin so so to speak ah oh boy a white woman and anytime i'm trying to stock photos okay okay nahama was like let's say that white woman right here you can see the full face Blah, 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 blah. okay uh, that's the picture i always use nahama was like this as you can see there's uh between those two pictures he's white as snow but she kind of like got some melanin upon her so this is how nahama did look but she had like future of a of a black woman but I, i'll buy no woman let's put her let's put it like this i'll buy no women okay boy uh that is white let me see okay that is way or white let's see what but we can take this okay she seems to have a little uh um a melanin okay okay well that's the best picture we can take okay so that's how um uh nah nahama was born okay she was born pale uh she was born not pale but she had a little uh, melanin that differentiated her from her father like lamek so noah's wife was like this but she was like a white woman okay uh, uh um she has like some melanin <laughs> so this is forgive me brothers and sisters it's just that's how i can do it to just put a picture in your mind so how those people were looking back then all right so um oh i was trying to make a class but anyway boy it took me oh boy 15 minutes to get into this but <laughs> let's begin we are going to study the chapter one the desolation after creation this is the book of Lamech of who live in the city of Enoch. Remember, that's the they are talking about the first Enoch, um, the son of Cain, the first Enoch. All right. Who was the son of Methushahel? In the Bible, okay. In the Bible, his name is Methusahel. Let's let's uh, pick that up right quick, okay. And it's Metu, Metu, Metu Sahel. In the book of Lamech, it's Metu Shahel. It's pretty much the same, okay? Um, 
let's see if we can uh let's get genesis uh, 4 17 let's see if we can pull that up okay genesis 4 verse 17 mm -hmm. Hmm. genesis 4 verse 17 and Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch. This is very important right there. Genesis 4 verse 17 is technically the, 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 the reason why Lamech of Cain wrote this book. Because Genesis 4 and 17 was the, the beginning of Lamech trying to find out who was this woman that Cain be, be get, uh, uh, um and Cain knew his wife. Who was that wife? And she conceived and bare Enoch. And he built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. So the first city, so to speak. Now, that's why Lamech was so bothered. Lamech didn't know his mother. Okay? He didn't know his... Uh, uh, um, um, Lamech didn't know um, Enoch's mother. The first uh, of the wives. The first bloodline of the wives. He was like, who the hell is this woman? Where did she come from? And he was asking question. Okay, so now verse seven, verse 18, next verse. And unto Enoch was born Erad. Erad begat Mehujahel. And Mehujahel begat Methuzahel. And Methuzahel begat Lamech. So Lamech was talking to Methuzahel. He was, Methuzahel was evil, man. Jesus. When you read the book, you're like, man, those people were evil. So we're going to get into that. Lamech was asking Methuselah, who was that woman? Enoch mother, our great grand great grand grandmother. Where did our father find um uh that woman and he, he married her and, and, and begat Enoch? So Methuselah don't want to tell Lamech. Lamech was young though. He he started lying to Lamech, man. That dude was evil. All right. So in the Bible, it's Methuselah. In the book of Lamech of Cain, it's Methuselah, son of Mehujahel. It's very confusing. All right. <laughs> Study to show you that self approve. All right. Who was the son of Methuselah? The son of Mehujahel, son of Erad, son of Enoch, son of Cain. And son of Adam. All right, God ignores the line of Cain. Cain, the forefather of Lamech, who was no translation there, mark with leprous whiteness, just like that. This is Cain. This is Cain when he make the the um, excuse me, the covenant with the devil. Our beloved big brother Judah. He made that lesson about oath, man. When you start reading the book of um, uh, the Mo the book of Mormon, uh, I think it's uh, chapter eight. We 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 get into that. The book of Mo Mormon <clears throat> go in depth about the oath, people. This is very serious. This is deep right there, man. I will read a little small passage in this lesson if I have time, but this is very deep. All right, now this is Cain. He made a, a covenant with the devil. He drank the cup, the darkness consuming, and then you know he killed his brother and all that nonsense. So this is Cain. This is his son, grandson Lamech. All right. Now uh, this can be. This is Cain. This can be Enoch, the first Enoch. Okay. So and Enoch uh, begat all those dudes and all that nonsense. All right. Let's let's begin. Let's uh, proceed. Cain, the forefather of Lamech, who was marked with leprous whiteness. For God has said, Whomever slays Cain shall have vengeance visit upon his head sevenfold. Now, if you go in the Bible, okay, uh, I believe uh, it was um, uh, 14. Okay, uh, Genesis uh, 14, Genesis 4, verse 14. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid. 
and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that everybody, everyone that findeth me shall slay me. Because Cain, he looks like this. He looks pale. He was the only dude that had this mark around him. Because everybody, even uh, uh, um. Uh, uh, um, even uh, the sons of uh, Seth and everybody else was dark skinned. They were black people. King wasn't even white. He he was like, <laughs> the King was like the the whitest mofo you can ever find because the the Mosai took his melanin away. And it says here that was his son speaking. Okay, the son speaking. He said. Cain was marked with the leprous whiteness. That's why when the uh, priest of Mahan, when they were preaching and they switched it, they say Cain was black. God curses Cain because he was black. When I was in school, that's what they were t teaching us. And our people didn't believe that. They know for a fact that uh, um, Cain was actually white. They even have a story that is two hundred, uh, that is over two, three, six thousand years old, called Buki Amalis, which is Buki and Malis. Buki is the dumbass mofo, and Malis is the smart mofo. Okay, Buki is the white dude, and they were brothers, which is mean um, uh, um, Adam, I mean uh, uh, Cain and Seth. Seth was smart. Cain was stupid, so that's how we remember the story. But the Catholic Church, the preach, the priest of Mahan, they changed that. They say Cain was actually black, but his son right here told you straight up that Cain, the forefather of Lamech, who was marked with leprous whiteness, for God has saved whoever slays Cain shall have vengeance visit upon his head sevenfold. Sevenfold means perfect vengeance. All right. Now in the Genesis uh, 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 four eighteen, let's let's look at let's link that with the proper uh, four eighteen. We'll go to twenty oh, twenty twenty twenty. Okay, twenty four. If Ken shall be avenged. Oh no, wait. Uh, seventy and seven four. Yes, yes. Um, when when um, no, that's Lamech that says this. Uh, I think it's uh. Uh, I think it's number yes, number fourteen. Uh, behold, thou hast driven me out of this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that every one that findeth me shall slay me. Now, and the Lord and said unto him, Therefore, whoever so, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on, on him sevenfold. Perfect. And the Lord set, set a mark upon Cain, people. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any man, lest any find him should kill him. It curses Cain with leprous whiteness and make Cain white as a mouthful. All right, and then he curses Cain, so Cain becomes so white. That means like anytime he appear any anywhere around people, if a bunch of black people see some dude like this pop up right there, they're like whoa, what the, f what are you, man? And they know the story. They know for a fact if they find Cain, they will kill him. But unfortunately, when Cain, <laughs> people, this book is way too funny, man. Unfortunately. Cain was killed by his um, son Lamech. Lamech killed Cain. And Lamech also killed his son sevenfold, his seventh generation. So he committed the perfect crime. He killed his forefather Cain, his grandfather Cain, you know, his great grandfather Cain, and he killed his younger son. So he handed his bloodline right there. That's why the Lord, I was so confused when the Lord said, and, um, and the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whoever saith Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. I'm like, why would the Lord do this? You know, it would be good if somebody killed that son of a bitch, but uh, why would you take revenge upon that person that killed Cain? And that's when the things become so perfect that Cain was killed by his great great son, Lamech, by accident. <laughs> the story is too funny, man. 
I'm sorry, I, I didn't want to do this, but Lamech killed Cain, and he killed his son, Tubal Cain. Okay? Tubal Cain. Let's see where we have Tubal Cain right here. Yeah, the, the son, the daughter, the son of Zillah, and Zillah, she also bear Tubal Cain. Tubal Cain was little, little Tubal, you know, Lamech killed him. <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy, man, when you read this book. It, it's crazy. All right, let's move on. Boy, uh... Whom have slay Cain shall avenge his visit upon their head sevenfold, as Abel's blood cried from the ground. That's in Genesis um, when the Lord was asking, uh, because he's pulling from the book of from people. He's pulling from the Bible. People, before the Bible was written, it was known as a story. Okay? They all knew this. Both bloodline, they all knew this. Everybody in that time knew exactly what was going on. They didn't need the Bible. Their people tell them what happened. Okay? All right? So now we can tell our people what happened because there's too much distraction out there, too much TV entertainment and all this bull. Um, vengeance upon their head sevenfold. As Abel's blood quiet from the ground, same leprous whiteness was made a sign that was visited upon all Cain's descendants. So all Cain's children... They, they had that whiteness upon them, okay? As it was their inheritance for seven generations. So, for seven generations, they're all going to have bear that uh, uh, whiteness uh, 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 of uh, lepros. Seven generation mean perfect, like the, the, the complete generation, okay? Doesn't mean it ain't that seven generation because those people are still... Uh, 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 living today, Cain came, came, came back uh, in Genesis uh, 25, 25, he reincarnated as Esau, okay, Esau is the, um, the, uh, uh, is the, is the father of the Edomites, so-called white people today, you know, this is the truth, uh, if you read the preface of this book, and uh, the white man tell you straight up, he said, amen, <laughs> we are straight descended of Cain, so there is no way around it, so, anyway, Inheritance for seven generations. With this mark in everything, Cain's descendants sought to do all that was wicked on the land and the sight of the Lord. Okay? Uh, when they say on the land, let me pull that right quick. Okay? Boy, I only had 27 minutes. Okay? So, when they say upon the earth, remember everything happened here in the fourth part. Okay, everything happened in the fourth part, all the way up uh, uh, right here. So Cain, children, all over the earth. So they were all over in the fourth part, in the third part, in the first part, second part. Okay, the Cain, the children, everything's begin right here in the fourth part. For those who know, I'm not going to go into this because it's, it's everything happened right here on this part of this land. Okay, there is all the evidence point out this way. All right, so the children of Cain and then the children of Seth, <clears throat> they were all over here on this part right here. But let's focus on the fourth part right there. All right, is that thing record? Yes, good. All right, then. Okay, all right. All that wicked on the land and the sight of the Lord, for they had been marked by him. For the descendants of Cain had received unto themselves the mark of them nation. I just put that word here, but they didn't translate it. Which was the fair portion for Cain's sin. Because he killed his brother Abel. Abel. Okay. We don't want to say Abel be Abel. So Abel be Abel. He Cain killed his brother Abel. And God refused to be they didn't say anger by Cain. Wickedness for Cain was not forgiven. Okay, Cain was not forgiven. Cain could not repent. He, he asked for forgiveness, but he didn't truly ask for forgiveness. Okay, Cain never repented. Okay, he repented because he got caught. He like God damn it, I fucking got caught. But he's not sorry because he killed his brother Abel. He never repented. And his children and his descendants of Cain practice all manner of evil. They never repent from anything. 
And the descendant of Cain practice all manner of evil, and that shall not be forgiven unto men. So God ignored the line of Cain, for they were no use to him. They never repented. Till this day. Till this day. You talking to those people, they never repented for anything. Yo, do you repent for that 400 years of slavery and all? Hey, man, that's not me. That's not me. Those are the people over there. I, 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 I didn't have any slave. And I didn't have, okay, do you repent? Do you um, uh, 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 forgive yourself? Do, do you acknowledge that you did those things and you were in the wrong and you're going to pay for it, most importantly? No. Hey, man, I, I'm not. I didn't do this. But your forefather did. You did this. No, no. Till this day, those people never repented for them thing that for, from the things that they did. All right. Oops. Chapter one. Yeah, I accidentally. There we go. The state of the earth and evil was in men. Touch so all the land. So evil was all over the land all over the world because all those places people all of them had people loaded million billions of people back then okay don't let people telling you that it was a few people the whole world was like the way it is today that's what the way it was back then okay all those places has people in it they were doing all sort of evil over the lane and the world okay all right let's put it like this okay Evil is man touch all the lane. Touch if by Cain and his mark descendant. Everywhere those Cain, Cain children go, they f everything. They messed up everything. They was brought unto desolation. Desolation doesn't technically mean desert. Okay? Let's let's try to Google that. This is Nahama. We're going to keep Nahama here. Okay. That's um Nahama right there. I'll use this picture. Okay, because she she had a little melanin like her mother. Okay, um, uh, we'll use a uh, definition of the word uh, desolation. Okay, desolation definition. Oh, ah, oh, boy. Oh man, I'm terrible at this. Okay, a state of complete emptiness or destruction. We'll use the word destruction. Bleakness, starkness, bareness, dismantless. Desolation doesn't technically mean the land is a desert. Nobody lives here. Oh, uh, uh, okay, your land shall be desolate. That means like yo, there is nobody live here. Oh, it, it's this land over here. Okay, let's see if uh, um, is right here. Excuse me. It doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean the lane is a desert. There are people live there. Desolate means the, the, it's like the lane is not what it is anymore. It's not under your under your your um protection, under your uh, uh priority or propriety. It's not under your um stewardness. Okay, it's desolate to you. The lane is not yours anymore. The deeds has been passing on to another person. That means it's desolate from you. Desolate doesn't mean the, the, the lane is all desert and which is not the lane. Let's go back to the homeland. The fourth part, baby. All right. There we go. We're in the fourth part right here. That's where everything happened at. Everything began at. Okay. All right, so this is the fourth part from north to south, all the way up. All right, mm -hmm. let's continue. The land and was brought into desolation, and hell's breath was upon the land like a cloud, and there was no goodness or good men to stop it. That's how the children of Cain did. They messed up everything. They bring hell upon earth. Okay, there was nobody to stop it. Therefore, great. 
great darkness dwell within the earth itself. For it was the first evil season, then the rocks themselves groan with the groaning of a mortally wounded man. Even the rocks upon the earth were like crying. They were crying like somebody that got shot, somebody that's in great pain because they were wounded. Because that's how the mother earth, the Holy Spirit was crying. The whole, the entire earth, remember people, this is a living being. This this big thing right here, it's a living being. It's it's quiet. When you do things upon it, when you shed blood, the blood run through the earth. She is crying. The whole earth. Okay? The whole earth was crying because of what the children of Cain was doing, the descendant of Cain. Because they took the oath. Alright? They took the oath. So the whole earth was crying. The 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 um um for mankind well we groaning would it modernly would it man and all mankind did needed more rest. Uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, and all mankind needed more rest in that time for mankind stood all their days. So the mankind, the children of King, they didn't rest at all. They did this day and night, killing, murdering, raping, day and night. Okay? Restraint supported between the dead and the living. I have no idea what that means because there are so many translation myths right here. The great beast of the field rooted in the land and the heat of wrath and passion push out the hatred and fury as fire upon the earth so the great beasts of the land were in that time quote unquote those were the great beasts of the land they, they didn't look like this they were dragons and all the great beasts okay the dinosaurs, the dragons, the dragon-like uh, um, thing. They're always telling you like they, they got extinct because of giant fire or whatever. That's a lie. Okay, those great beasts, uh, all the dinosaurs, the dragon, they refer in the Bible as dragon. Okay, P people, you have to do your own research. You have to detach yourself from what they taught you, okay? Uh, that's a good picture right here. Are those people... Yes, and then the dinosaur, because the dinosaur were leaving aside uh, those people, okay? They were there, okay? Let's see if we can pull a picture of dinosaurs. Um, okay, dinosaurs and, and people. Whoops. Okay, just like you see here, those Jurassic movies, you think they just pulled that thing out of their asses like that? No, because they got books. They got our books. The Vatican's have our books. They got, they will call those Steven Spielberg guys. They will call them the, the, those, those, uh, um, that fellow that did Star Wars. What's his name again? George Lucas fellow. They'll call, uh, um, that fellow that did Terminator. What is his name again? Uh, Whatever his name is, he's also the one who make propometries. Because they know the truth. Right, let me get this guy's name, man. Oh, boy. Oh, what's his name again? I know this guy's name. Terminator Director. Wow. No. See, the devil don't want you to find out the truth, man. The Director. Um, James Cameron. The moment I see the the, the 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 face, I know it. James Cameron. You think those guys just pull those thing out of their asses like you're so smart? No, those are like top writers, top Hollywood writers. They will go to the Vatican. They will give them books and they will read them. They are well translated, not that bootleg translation. Well translated. They have illustration. They can see and they will write things. Okay, James Cameron, James Cameron, 
Prometheus. Let's see. I don't want to be wrong right here, but I believe he was the one who... Uh, uh, um, was he? Or oh, Ridley Scott. Yes. Ridley Scott. Alien director James Cameron with you Prometheus. No, Ridley Scott. Ah, you see? That's why you have to... Um, Ridley Scott. Okay, he's the one who uh, the the movie was all about Cain and his descendant, man. How evil they were, you know. It wasn't about like humanity and all that bull. And one day I'm gonna take some time and dissect this whole thing. But uh, for now, Ridley Scott. Okay, Ridley Scott also do. Uh, uh, Gladiator, <laughs> brother, big Levi, uh, big Judah. I love that movie gla uh, uh, of Gladi Gladiator. It's not coincidence, people. Coincidence, people. They have books. They have the Vatican's give. Those guys got special access. They took the oath. Okay, he make Alien, Gladiator, um, Blade Runner. All those things. They they don't just pull them out right off their asses like that. They got books. Okay, they got books, all those good movies. Those guys don't just come out with it like that. They they read books that you never read. That's what you're always amazed. Like, whoa, why did they get those ideas? Once you start reading other books, you're like, oh my God, you guys swagger jacked the Bibles, the ancient books, you swagger jacked it. Blade Runner, all those stories are like metaphor from books that we never read. Okay, Alien. All of that, but you know, from this bull. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go. Let's go. Where we were, the great beast dinosaur. Man, <laughs> when the Holy Spirit is beaming those information in your head, you know, you just gotta do it like that. I ain't playing for none of this. Okay, push out the wrath and fury and fire upon the earth. So, the animal world pushing fire. What kind of animal that can throw fire out of the mouth? Okay. dragons all right believe it or not they were they exist in the time some of them were called leviathan technically this book called the name of this book is the book of lamech of cain and dragons okay back then they were we find our leviathan beast all right let's take a, a good look my favorite dragon smog the dragon all right <laughs> boy you know when you read those habits those books you like okay i got now where they um get those stories because when you start reading other books it's just this is the story they just make it look fancy and all that stuff dragons okay those things they really did exist back then all right let's um let's move on uh fires upon the earth upon this violence both men and beasts were wounded as unto death and healed often for wounds in that time heal quickly okay because back then there were a hell of a lot more oxygen the flood didn't happen again they didn't happen so healed wool very quickly if you cut somebody it's like wolverine heal wound i don't want to pull that out on youtube because it, it, they will strike me I, i've been getting a lot so the days of the earth were shadow with no hope cruelty attack and made low mortality wounded and her pain was unending okay the the earthly mother was being hurt because you don't hurt the earth by digging a hole in it you hurt it by when you kill one of her children when you keep killing the animals when you destroy the forest when you polluted the air when you keep killing uh, 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 on people, the blood spill on the ground and the earth is crying. You know how many people that get killed every day? This earth has been crying ever since the children of Cain descended from it. And she never stopped crying. Okay? Mortally wounded and her pain was unending. It cannot end. Sorrow was the earth and the streams of water that sprung from her ground offered false hope and were bitter. All of mankind was shamed by the state of the earth. All were of her sorrow and of her withering. Yet 
earth was treated as a stranger that mankind did not welcome as a guest. She was naked and mankind would not clothe her. She was sick and in prison and mankind did not care. This is exactly what Yahweh was talking about. Okay. Yahweh was talking about this in Matthew. I believe I have it right there. Wait, oh, I, I think I had it. I had I had it Matthew 25 I believe Matthew 25 35 okay the book of Matthew 25 35 oh mark mm, I had it in my phone I was studying last night 25 35 um, yes I believe that's it for I was hungry and ye give me meat. Okay, I think it's 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 further. Twenty-five, thirty-five. Um give me a drink, make ye close me, then sh alright, so strange and look, prison came into me. Say unto the last day, then and depart from me. Okay. Alright, it's my few um twenty-five forty-two. For I was hungered, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me not in. Naked, and ye clothed me not. Sick, and in prison, and ye visited me not. So this is the same thing that the, the, the book of Lamech, okay, because Yahweh I read that book, man, be, believe it or not. Okay, so that's what the earthly mother was like, uh, uh, um, Remember, this book is written by Lamech. Okay, he wrote this book. So, all of mankind shamed by the state, earth, all were her sorrows. Earth was treated as a stranger. Okay, earth was treated as a stranger. Um, or a stranger, or naked, or sick in prison, and did not minister unto me. Then, uh, uh, um, I was a stranger, and ye took me not. I was naked, and ye clothed me not. I was sick. You, you visit me not in prison. I was in the hospital. You guys didn't come see me. I wasn't in prison. Y'all didn't visit me. Get the hell away from me. I don't know you. That's what the earth was doing. The earth was naking. Uh, the beloved uh, 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 earthly mother was treated as a stranger. That mankind did not welcome as a guest. She was naked and mankind did not clothe her. She was sick. She was in prison. Mankind did not did not care they, they didn't care that's what that's what this book this is la make tripping on his own shoes and the mo uh, and yahweh was pulling for all those books okay and god spoke to the earth do not weep for mankind yet bemoan him not for the time will come that you will weep 40 days and 40 nights for those of you, you know where I'm going with this. I got it in my phone. Uh, 40 days and 49. I think it's Genesis uh, uh, when Noah went in and spent 40 days and 49. Let's see if we can search that uh, right quick. Um, I, I believe. Oh boy. Yikes. There we go. 40 days. Oops, 40 days. See, that that's the movie, 40 Days and 40 Night. That's why they've been pulling their stuff, 40 Days and 40 Night. Uh, Genesis verse. I got it in my phone. My phone is charging. I think um, verse uh, Genesis 7, verse 12. Let's check that up. Um, to, 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 to Genesis 7 verse 12 um, they took so much out of the bible man oh those people all right and the rain was upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights but before that uh it says it this it says it uh let's see on our 600 flood was was upon the earth okay uh genesis um let's see what that is Ge genesis 7 4 <clears throat> 
For yet seven days I will cause it to rain. That's the Lord talking. I will cause it to rain upon the earth forty days and forty nights, and every living substance that I have made will will I destroy from off the face of the earth. Why? Because this, because of the all the stink they were making the earth crying. Man, they were destroying the earth as it is of today. That's why those people have to go. They war with everybody. Okay. World War One, World War Two, World War Three, World War Four, World War Five. We went to all of this. We went to World War X. All of them. They just don't tell you. People are waiting for WW2. We've been making war, man. Vietnam and all that, man. Killing people. Assassination. Secrets. Secrets are assassination. The earth know all of this, man. That's why the most I had to destroy all those people because of the secret of the, the of the secret killing. Okay, you know what? Let me pull that right quick, man. Um, whoops, no, that's story. Let me pull that out right quick so I won't forget. I said I was going to um pull that in the book of Mormon, and um, oops, in the book of Mormon, I think it's uh, Cain. Cain only mentioned Cain only mentioned uh, three times in the book of Mormon. Uh, Ether, Ether 815, uh, Ether 815, I think, um, yes, if you, if you read, if you, oof, man, this chapter, man, Brother Big Judah need to read this chapter, okay, I can't dissect it the way that he did, but I'll do the best that I can, okay, let's read 15, then we're gonna wait a, a little bit, and it came to pass that thus they agree with Akish, and Akish did administer unto them the oath which were given by them of old whom also sought power which has been handed down even from Cain who was a murderer from the beginning okay and they were kept up by the power of the devil to administer this oath unto the people to keep them in darkness to help such a sort power to gain such a sort power to gain power and to murder and to plunder and to lie and to commit all manners of wickedness and water that's why the lord say this right here man for yet seven days and i will cause the rain uh, i'll cause it to rain upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights and every living substance that i have made will i destroy from from off the face of the earth the the dinosaurs weren't killed by some uh, um <coughs> boy they don't want that truth to come out the dinosaurs weren't killed by some asteroids man Okay, oh, why don't I have a dinosaur? Yeah, I just had it. Oh. Dinosaurus. Reptile. Okay, those weren't killed by some uh, uh, asteroids and then and, and all that bull. Asteroids. Asteroids. Oh, one asteroid fell onto the F and killed all the dinosaurs. Let me get the hell out of here. They don't kill like this, man. They don't kill like this. Once you read um, Genesis um, 7 4, you know how they were uh, killed, okay? So that's why, people, uh, uh, this is a great chapter in the book of Ether, chapter eight, uh, um, Ether 8, chapter 15, or um, chapter 8, um, Ether, Ether 8, the whole chapter. This story is so. Oh my God! Whew. If you read this story, man, you're like, God damn, those people are evil, man. The things that those people do in secrets. Let's see how much time we got here, man. Oh, good Lord, I got about seven minutes. Oof, rambling. All right, so um, Beater and all that Air Force Street is stranger will go and got. Whoops! Oh boy, touched by King. Yeah. Mankind did not welcome, and God spoke on the earth, "Do not weep for mankind yet; bemoan him not, for time for time will come that you will weep forty days and forty nights, and his stand and be cleansed, and you will be restored." Okay, so we're gonna stop. We're gonna stop uh, um, for chapter one right here, and uh, we're going to pick up ch chapter two probably um, later or tomorrow. Okay, we're going to go into Lamech's youth. 
in the woods and paths were such as though fall knew nor that vulture seen them and upon this path one could meet men giant or son of god the nephilim for this was the time when the son of god came and mingled with the mark the uh, descent of cain and the line of self so the son of god came in and have sex with the with the women that was upon the earth especially nahama especially her because oh god it's just it's so disturbing when you go into her story man she lost it after after those men because they have giant penis okay so um wow this is very disturbing man but uh, that's what the book said <laughs> and there was there was no righteous in the mark bloodline of cain until the time of lamech and there is none after lamech was actually become good but at the end of the day in the book when lamech saw it lamech like because of what cain did lamech could not repent lamech could not be good and believe it or not lamech stopped killing he used to be a murderer he stopped killing the moment he found out like what god did to people that killed he stopped killing he stopped killing he only killed people by accident which is was his grandfather and his son so we're going to stop uh, today for this but god let me see how much we have uh four minutes uh boy i want to read the the chapter eight in the book of uh mormon but go ahead e e read header chapter eight Oof, boy uh, yeah, 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 yeah. okay we'll pick it up um uh somewhere else all right uh okay all praise okay we'll read chapter two we'll do another lesson in chapter two all right and all praise to the most high yahweh the heavenly father in the name of the holy spirit the earthly mother sanctifying yahweh the holy son shalom family